Well, hello everybody. This is Street Outlaw Snow Prep Talk. Today we're going to talk about an update on Daddy Dave's Goliath Chevy 2. I do apologize. This video is in portrait. Most of these pictures are in portrait, so they actually look better with the video this way. Subscribe and comment, and photo credit goes to the respective photo owners. So a little while back, I did a video. And in that video, I said Daddy Dave was switching from uh, the twin turbo combo, possibly to the Pro Charger combination. But that is not the only update he's doing to Goliath, the Chevy 2. Now, as many of you know, this car was one of the only ones on Oprah Kings with a factory firewall location. And the only basically tube chassis thing it had was a bolt on front end. There's a lot more No Prep Kings car that has a completely different chassis, firewall moved back two inches, I mean, stuff like that. And that helps both on No Prep and on the street. So Daddy Dave not only decided to change power plant, apparently, he decided to completely rebuild the 63 Chevy 2. Now, he was looking at buying another car for a while but i guess he didn't find anything he wanted and as you may see from this post he fought a good fight through the years dealing with 63 chevy 2 problems now we level the playing field to all those cars getting by with the bullshit gray areas the way i seen it we just begun as you may see he completely cut the firewall he's probably going to move it back that will allow him to actually move the motor back a little bit more and uh that obviously helps with the chassis, with the power uh, delivery, with the weight in the chassis. I mean, I'm no chassis builder, but I do know a little bit about that. As you may see, 2020 was one of his worst performances in Street Outlaws history. Now he's going to do a lot of changes, and he should be a lot more competitive, especially when modifying the chassis this way. He's apparently front-halfing the whole front of the car the other thing with the 63 Chevy 2s is they got a very short nose. So if he is going to Pro Charger setup, a big blower is actually going to go through the front of the car. He intended to put the bigger Pro Charger back when he was Pro Charged two years ago, but the bigger blower did not fit. So uh, by moving the firewall back, I guess, put the engine better a little bit uh, back into the chassis he will be allowed to actually put the pro charger with no problems so let's stay tuned for any more updates real soon